Yo, I have not filmed a video. I don't even know if this mascara is working. I have not ow, filmed a video, done makeup, left in my house in days. Okay, no, granted, I left my house to go to church and I left to go to Best Buy today. But it feels like I have not left my house. Ever. Oh. <clears throat> <sighs> What's <sighs> Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl and Michelle and I am girl girl What's up guys? I forgot my intro for two seconds. I have not done this in a month What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl and Michelle and I am back with another video for the channel First of all before we get into this video, I just Want to say happy new year guys. I know the first video that I did was not the video that I wanted to put out there for the first video of 2021. And I wanted to do so much better content this year. And starting off with that, that was just crazy vibes, but I, I just wanted to make sure I got that message out there. It is what it is, but we're here today filming this video. And let me just tell you a disclaimer. Um, I know y'all are like, like almost mortified by the title and the thumbnail of this video but first of all this is for entertainment purposes only this is for me also to look back at when I'm in the future married get ready to have my first kid because as y'all can tell by the title of, this, title of this video this is this is crazy like this is actually crazy the fact that I have this and the fact that this exists I don't know like first of all the fact that this exists is literally crazy so i'm not gonna hold you guys um i'm excited for this year because i think we have a lot of crazy new things coming to this year and so if you're excited and if you're ready to <laughs> see what i want to name my future kids please keep watching this video because so we're gonna be ranking these individually from the scale of one to ten. I have my journal. Oh, let me not show y'all the, the thing with it. So I have my journal right here that I haven't written down on. So we're just going to go through them one by one. We're gonna do girls first, then we're gonna do boys. We're gonna do girls first, then we're gonna do boys. So the first girl name is Aria, and it's spelled A-R-I-A. -A, Aria. So a little bit about this name um first of all this name was actually supposed to be a middle name i liked it as a middle name but then first of all i grew to not like the name that i had in front of it so much so i took it out and i just said that's a cute first name aria so you know yeah i think i'm gonna give that one maybe like a six out of ten because I like it. I just don't like it as much as some other names on this list. So the next one is Aaliyah. And um, I spell it differently than a lot of people. So the point, you're going to see a lot of things in this video. If you know me or if you don't know me, these names, some of them are personal to me. Some of them are not but i wanted to kind of just i wanted to give my future kids names or i want to give my future kids names that are that's that's different that they don't come into this world thinking that they have to be or live up to some standard now they may be named after someone but it's not 
the same spelling or it's not the same or way that they say it and every single name on this list i don't know a person at all personally who whose name is spelled or said like any of these names on this list so that is how, why i like every single name on this list and that's why i'll be mentioning it today. yeah i spelled it a l i i a so um i liked it first of all it's different i'm gonna give that one about a aaliyah i'm gonna give that one a seven out of ten <laughs> don't laugh at me but i'm gonna just be honest i pretty much have everybody from the ace family's name on this list except for steel um because i just like it <laughs> sorry because i just like their names and and some of them have meanings to me the next one is obviously alaya um a l a i a alaya um i like alaya i've never heard it before so if i were to rank that out of 10 i think i would give it let's say i'm gonna, think I'm gonna give it an eight i think i'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of ten now the next two names i think i'm gonna say together because they pretty much sound the same so the next two is oakland and lakeland my first of all i told my mom these names and she looked at me like huh but those names are very different and yeah so i think i'm gonna write them together i'm gonna give those about a seven out of ten the next one is first of all i like i don't want my kids to have my name like i i don't like but if i'm gonna give them a part of my name like i want to give them like a part of my name if i do that but i don't want to give them like anna or michelle or anna michelle like i don't want to have a kid named after me but the next name is l and obviously l from the ace family has that name obviously but if you look at how my middle name is spelled it's spelled m-i-c-h-e-l-l-e -E. so l is literally in my middle name actually i like that a lot so i think we go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 i'm not giving anything 10 out of 10s because they're not guaranteed um the next one is katherine and this one's spelled with a c c-a-t-h-e-r-i-n-e First of all, I love the name Catherine. My grandma's name is Catherine, but she spells it with a K. I wanted to spell it differently, so I spelled it with a like it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and give that one a nine out of 10. The next one, I have two more girl names. So the next one would be Coral. I really like that name. So I'm gonna go ahead. I don't think I like it as much as Ellen Catherine and Aaliyah but i'm gonna go ahead and give that one like an eight out of ten the last girl name would be ayana and it's spelled a a n n a so <laughs> it's literally just my name with an a in front of it i pronounced it um ayana instead of a go ahead and rank that like a nine out of ten so yeah anyway we're gonna go to my my, my the boys names okay okay sometimes i'll be having a lot of fun with the boys names and i just be like yo <laughs> <laughs> the first boy name is austin obviously i mean it's all right like it's like i said i don't personally know an austin i went to school with one and graduated with one i think but i don't personally know in austin yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and give it like a seven out of ten because i don't like it as much as the whole bunch of other ones on this list the next one i have on this list is caleb and it's not spelled c-a-l-e-b because i know a little boy named caleb he goes to my church but it's not spelled like this the way i would spell this name is k-a-y-l-e-b but i like I, I like that spelling it's just different i'm gonna go ahead and give that one a nine out of ten the next one is Kyrie. k-y-r-i-e i've considered putting Kyrie on this list until recently and i would just like Kyrie. like i just i kept hearing it oh okay i watched the prince family and i hear it like all the time and i'm just like Kyrie. Kyrie, C could you see yourself naming your child Kyrie? And I was just like, I guess maybe. And, and it goes with Caleb, so Caleb and Kyrie. Caleb and Kyrie. That that's 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 a tough combination. Let me let me 
me make notes. I rate it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give that one an eight out of 10 because I don't love it, love it, but I really like it. The next one, the next one is Kaiser and it's spelled K-A-I-S-E-R. I also overheard that name because I think that's Neek and King's son, their name Kaiser. So I really like that name, it's, it's cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it seven out of 10. Just, just be safe. Just go ahead and give it like a seven out of 10 to be safe. The next one, yo, I absolutely love this. And this is a nine out of 10. I'm gonna just go ahead and say that up front is Kingston. Like, yo, when I heard that name, I forgot where I heard it from. I was like, yo, this name is cute. Let me rush to put it down on my notes because this, it, it just sounds Kingston. Like, that's such a sophisticated name for me, but I feel like that kid is just gonna be so, I feel like if I have a son. It's my mom. The next one would be um, Emerson. Um, that, that sounds like a sophisticated name. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Like I like it, I like it. So I'm gonna um, say the next two together because I feel like they go together. The next two is Norman and Roman. I really like those names. Like I'm gonna give those nines out of 10. But the, you know the sad thing about it is I love, I, I really like all of these names, but I'm not gonna have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm not having 18 kids. The last name that we have on this list is Weston and I spelled it differently. I saw that on an app the other day and I was like, yo, that spelling is different. I like it. So I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that one. I really like, I think I like that one more than Roman a little bit. No, I like it more than Emerson. So I'm gonna give that one a nine out of 10. And a girl, if you're watching this and you get ready to have a kid, a girl or a boy, <laughs> Pat yourself on the back if you still like these names. Cause <laughs> girl, you are weird anyway. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And honestly, first of all, if you're gonna comment, if you like comment, go ahead and comment down below which one was your favorite or which names you think I might like that are different. Cause I like different names and I don't like names that everybody has. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!